Hey, what's up guys? Iman here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, it's been a few weeks since I've done a video. I've taken some time off to do some other things, which uh, hopefully I'll provide an update soon, uh, which includes me buying an ICE car. More to come on that. But today we are testing out the latest update that I have on uh, my Model S Plaid, which is version 12.5.1.3, of course, version 12. And so today we're going to go ahead and test this out and see how well it works. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Alright guys, welcome back. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and initiate FSD. And uh, I'm gonna run the same course that I've done in the past where it will go ahead and test out that one turn where it's been gimmicky uh, in the past. So we'll see if this new update fixes that turn uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna do my usual thing. I'm gonna go ahead and stay quiet and uh, unless until I need to intervene and take over, I'll of course comment on what that is. But right now, uh, my FSC setting, I do have it on auto and um, I'm able to just let the car do its thing uh, based on traffic and speed limit and things like that. So let's see how well this works. Enjoy the ride. For those of you that might uh, be new to this video or new to just knowing Tesla FSD updates, a couple updates ago they introduced the use of in-cabin camera so you no longer have to let the car know you're there physically by moving the steering wheel or whatnot. Uh, it actually just detects eye movement and uh, makes sure that you're paying attention. If you look away, it can pick up on that and then it'll tell you to let the car know you're there. But as long as you're paying attention and you're looking forward or looking back like you know to the rear view mirrors like you normally would if you were driving you no longer need to keep your hands on the steering wheel and that actually has come in really handy for me because uh, a lot of times coming back from work or things like that i am trying to eat a snack or drink something or whatever and i literally just focus on the road keep my eyes and face you know facing forward and I'm eating a snack or doing whatever and I no longer need to hold on the steering wheel which is really nice. So the speed limit here is 45 as you can see it's going about 50 with the flow of traffic that is um, on the auto setting. And the one update I'm really looking forward to uh, it's actually called actual smart summons or ASS Tesla is ridiculous for these seven names but it is actually called ASK and so that update should be coming out soon it's already started rolling out to uh, the cars and I have not received it yet but the minute I do I really want to see how well summons smart summons will actually work because um, in the past you guys know in the videos it's been a hit or miss but lately it has not worked um, but with um, hardware 4 that feature is not even available so when this comes out I'm really excited to see how much of an improvement it's going to be of course it's going to be reviewed on my channel so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned if you are not already subscribed but um, hopefully I'll get that update in the next uh, week or so.
For those of you that might be wondering which settings I'm on, let's take a look and see. For autopilot, um, I do have assertive turned on, um, which in this case, the Model S will have a smaller follow distance and performance. So as you can see, as I'm reading that, um, it started detecting that my eyes were not focusing forward uh, and perform more frequent lane changes. And then um, automatic speed offset, I have turned that on. Offset relative 15 plus miles per hour, and again, saying paying attention. So I'm gonna go and turn this off. As you guys can see, it's very good. It knows the eye, eyes, if you're paying attention or not, it picks it up really well. If you do turn the auto offset off, then you can go ahead and control from here um, how much faster you want it to go off the speed limit and things like that. Otherwise, on auto, it goes in full traffic. See, in cases like this, there's no car, well now there's a car coming up behind me, as you can see there, but that lane was empty. I wish it gets to a point where it automatically detects which lane's going, which should be used. In my opinion, it would make more sense to go in that lane to pass these cars because we'd be the first one, but it's not quite there yet to pick up these small cues, and um, especially on assertive, you know, it should make that lane change and be the first one in um, at the red light there. Okay, so the turn that uh, I wanted to test out is coming up um, in 0.8 miles. We'll see how it does uh, with that turn. But obviously so far with the traffic, it's kept this lane for some reason, which is kind of annoying. I wish it would have changed lanes, but um, so far it's done well keeping up with uh, the flow of traffic and not having any issues, which I didn't anticipate that it would, but with any new updates that come out, you just you don't know until you actually try it. Get ready for lane change, it'll go ahead and do that on its own. All right, 
we're approaching the turn. Turn is turn signal on and it's gotten in the lane. Okay, that's fine. I am gonna put my foot closer to the brake in case I need to take over. Um, it's got a green light to turn. Luckily there's no traffic behind me, so it's slowing down on yellow. Now it is red. Let's see what it does. It's gonna stop. It should, yep, it's going to start inching forward. This is where it gets really tricky because it's hard to see back if the car is coming or not. And then as it makes its turn, there's actually no lane marking. So then I'm curious to see what it does. You can see the arrow that's pointing to the left. And yeah, it did fine because that lane ends and the markings are on this side. So I'd say that was a success. That actually handled it really well. This is the best that I've seen it handle that turn. Didn't hesitate, accelerated through the turn. Uh, there was a car on the left side, didn't come over to the left side, didn't go over the right side. It was literally a perfect turn. Like I would have made it as a, as a human driver. So that is very impressive. Um, let me go ahead and turn around from here and uh, head back and uh, see how it takes the left turn going back where there is a two lane left turn lane. So let's see how it does there. I'm going to have to put in a different address just to see. I'm just going to put in Naperville Crossing. so good and it's gonna be the same turn but again it'll be not a right turn it'll be a left turn and there's two left turn lanes so let's see what it does uh, right here coming up and which lane it picks okay. one other thing that I would love for future updates to come through and fix is the ability for the car to dodge potholes um, like the one we just hit, it could have dodged that, but it just goes over because it maintains a single center lane. So these are the two left lanes. Um, it's picking, looks like this first lane to make a left in. So let's see how well it does in this turn when it turns green. Here for the left turn, but not on the outside. 
and um, yeah, that was literally perfect. It did a great job making that turn. So I'd say it's definitely an improvement from the previous version just based on those two turns where it's been gimmicky in the past. Again, no issues with normal drive, traffic driving in the city. Um, so I'd say that's definitely a win and um, looking forward to future updates. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.